Hello everyone, my name is Griffin and we are back with another reaction video. We are reacting to Isaac Butterfield's Jim Girls Stop Calling Men Out. <sighs> this has been a problem for a while now where um, a lot of these gym girls will bring uh, their camera or their phone with them and record themselves at the gym. And some of them will find every excuse they can to call a man out, even if he just glances in her direction. Or even if it just looks like he's looking in her direction, she will call him out and she will be fucking belligerent and a fucking Karen about it. Some of these men getting a lot of shit for what they are obviously innocent about as well. So a lot of these, I, I would just say, you know, taking videos and stuff should be banned in gyms. I'm sorry, it just should. Just to stop this shit from happening. But uh, let's see what this video is about, shall we? I had a question for you. Should women be able to wear whatever they want at the gym? To a certain degree, yes. No. No, they shouldn't. Okay, I'm being a bit facetious. You should be able to wear whatever you want anywhere. But sometimes what you choose to wear has a few repercussions attached to it. That's why I said to a certain degree, you should be able to wear what you want to the gym. Now, if you're wearing something that's super fucking tight, that accentuates your curves, your butt, your tits and everything. And it's, it's one of those things where it's like you're advertising these things. You cannot complain when people stare at you because Essentially, what you're doing is wearing it so people will stare at you. But, like I said, to a certain degree, you should be able to wear what you want when you go to the gym. I'm not saying you should be assaulted or, or attacked in any way, but much like looking into the sun, sometimes men at the gym cannot help but look at your entire ass that is exposed because you're wearing booty shorts that are being eaten by your ringer. What I'm talking about in this video is this massive trend that's happening right now. On TikTok and Instagram, it's filled with women in their 20s complaining that men keep looking at them at the gym. But here's the thing, you can see their assholes. And in reality, in these videos, all that's really happening. This creep would not stop staring and following me around the gym, so I gave him a friendly glare. Thing is, people are glancing at them as they walk past because you can see their assholes. Now I don't want anyone to f stop working out and stare. Feel back. uncomfortable at the gym. You should be able to go there and train, and that's it. But if you are wearing basically underwear, people are gonna look. In the same vein that if you're a man and you're looking good at the gym and you're wearing your f just underwear and everyone can see your cock, people are gonna look at it. Male, female, everyone. People are just going to look. This video isn't about genuine creeps that make people feel uncomfortable. That's not what this video is about at all. And the videos that tend to go viral online, they're not about genuine creeps either. They're just people just slightly glancing. Ladies and gentlemen, before we go any further in this fantastic video, it is brought to you by the great people at Bond Charge. Bond Charge is a holistic wellness... Back to the video. What this video is about is the trouble that men are in right now because there is a vigilante in the world hunting blokes down, men down, trying to make them finally be accountable. Here's the thing. It's, it's funny that women are complaining about men staring, but you ladies stare too. Whether you want to admit it or not, you ladies do also stare. The thing is, we don't go out of our way to complain about it because, well, people are going to look. It's just how it goes at the gym. People are going to look. Now, if they stare a bit too long, then yes, call them out. They're being a bit creepy, man or woman. But if they're just slightly glancing at you, I don't see the problem. You're at a gym in an enclosed space. People are going to look. And there are some times where there's not going to be any help about it, where people are going to turn around and you're in their general view. Stop fucking complaining about every glance you get. Even outside the gym, people are going to fucking look at you. You're going to complain at every single person in the world that slightly glances at you? Now, like I said, if somebody looks a bit too long, then yes, 
ask them to stop staring or what or whatnot. But don't complain to people who just glance at you. You're just you're just being too picky at that point. For their hideous actions at the gym. It's the female Batman, ladies and gentlemen. This lady. Mary Magadan, Madigan. Mary appears in many different forms, but So Shrek. She is here today to teach men a lesson that it's not okay to number one comment on what we I'm sorry, that was a mean comment, but you know what? If people like this are gonna be like this, I'm not gonna be nice. Women wear to the gym, and number two, look at them. She's an amazing journalist. She writes amazing things like this. It's amazing. <clears throat> a woman's gym outfit has unleashed a huge debate. And I want you to really listen to what she's written here. A video of a woman innocently working out at the gym is going viral and has kicked off a huge debate online for all the wrong reasons. Now, please, please. I kind of think real, actual journalists are very far and few between. It's rare to find an actual journalist nowadays because people who call themselves journalists are just reporting on stupid dumb shit that nobody gives a single rat's ass about. And they're just sparking up arguments that don't matter, that don't need any sort of attention. So, I don't think this lady's a journalist. I think she's a fucking idiot. Please just brace yourself for what she's talking about. This massive injustice that she is talking about. Brace yourself, because I guarantee you've seen the video. Here it is. This is the video in question. Now, it is blacked out, but I guarantee you, in the real version... What does that workout actually do? Is it is it like a, more of a massage for your quads and stuff? If, if People who work out, if you could actually let me know what this actually does i'm curious to know because i i think i've seen people do this but i have no idea what it actually does you can see so much of this woman's ass i can smell it i can taste it and of course people are going to take issue with look here, here here's the thing what i say now when i say within reason ladies don't dress up like this lady i i would say if you want to dress up this person the lady next door in the colorful spandex and the black top here is more acceptable of gym wear than what she's wearing because women who go to the gym like this are purposely dressing like that to get attention and people who make videos like this who dress like this are doing it so they could purposely make a you know an uproar about men looking at them you don't want people gawking at you. Don't fucking dress like this. You dress like this at that point. It's your own fault. Both men and women. If you dress like very provocatively like this and you get gawked at, at that point, it's your own fault for getting stared at because you dress like this. You did it on purpose. You know what you're doing. You're an adult. Make better decisions. With someone wearing this to the gym that is ridiculous if you can taste someone's ass in the air it's you're not wearing enough here's what mary had to say is this a proper way to dress at the gym no no it's not you want to dress like that go right ahead you're going to get gawked at at that point it's your own fault like i said this question regarding a woman's gym outfit has racked up over 14 million views and opened up far more than a can of misogyny try of that. It's not misogynistic. But there don't well okay. There are some people who are probably legitimately misogynistic, but I can probably guarantee you the majority of what people say, they're probably saying that this sort of outfit is not very appropriate gym wear because you're gonna get looked at. Saying that is not misogynistic, saying that is a fact. You don't want to get gawked at, put more clothes on. Or at least wear more appropriate gym wear like the lady next to her was with the colorful spandex and the black top that is more acceptable of a gym wear than what the lady in the red top was wearing that of misogyny that's what this uh, woman has opened because she has or exposed her entire or her this is more acceptable gym wear as well than what the fuck she's wearing ladies you dress like this lady in the red top you know what you're doing
You're doing it so people can look at you. You don't want people to look at you. Wear something like she is or the pa or the lady with the colorful spandex. Higher ass at the gym. No, no, no. That's not misogyny. That's dudes saying, hey, hey, lady. Hey, 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 hey. We love asses, but can you put yours away? Because you're making me feel like a creep. Oh, Isaac, well, don't fucking look at him. How do you not look at that? How do you not look at that? You're a misogynist. Don't look at it. I can see your fucking cornflakes. I can see them twisting around in there, all right? In your ass. Put it away. Put it away. Now, the woman in question in these videos, her name is Sarah. And Sarah has a huge online following. I can't imagine why. Probably because of her intelligence and wit. Now, she doesn't wear these particular clothes to the gym because she's trying to push a message out there that you should be able to wear whatever you want. No, no, she's wearing them because she is selling her OnlyFans. That's all she's doing. In fact, isn't that quite funny that Mary Madigan doesn't want people talking about women and, and you know, they're not dressing for you. Well, Sarah is. That's exactly what she's doing. She's dressing for everyone to watch and then go and see, well, I wonder what her fucking puss looks like. Let's pay $12 a month to find out what her puss looks like. What a massive win for feminists everywhere. Go ladies. Wow. Okay, here's Sarah again with her ass and just dudes in the background going, I better not look over there because I'll be on everyone's TikTok tonight being called a misogynist creep. But it's going against every fibre in my being because I'm a man and there is an attractive woman in front of me with her asshole out. Looking. Yeah, see, ladies, you're going to get men who, you know, steal glances at you. It's it's just, it's in our, it's how we're, it's how we're wired. If you look, if you look hot, if you look beautiful, we're, we're going to steal glances at you. It's just how it is. Now, what's what the the difference is between somebody who stares a glance at you and somebody who just stares at you like they're staring at the fucking sun. That's the difference between somebody who's just glancing and somebody who's being a creep. Call the creep out. Ignore those who just steal glances at you. Being away is not normal. I'm sorry if that's misogynistic, but if you've got a pretty woman, a pretty lady with her asshole out. 99% of men are going to go and then look away. That's not being a creep. That's just doing, doing what we need to do as men. <laughs> oh, she put, wears G-bangers at the, at the shops too. That's good. That's very nice of her. What a lovely lady. But don't look at her. Mate. This is, this is, is, she's advertising for porn. That's all she's doing. Then this is the hill that Mary wants to die on. What? Defending some porn chick because she wears underwear to the gym and dudes are like, hey, can you not do that? Here's another video of her and just dudes all over. Here, here's the other thing. There's a lot of people, both men and women who go to the gym, who find this actually very distracting and wish that these sort of people, both men and women, wouldn't do this. Because it disrupts a lot of people around you who are actually legitimately there to get fit and healthy. I got nothing against you guys wanting to do this, but if you're going to get complaints at yourself for doing this shit and being disruptive, it's your own fault. Loranda going, Christ, where do I look? Stevie Wonder would feel awkward there. He would. Hey. I hope she writes and plans these videos. It's like, right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the camera down at asshole height, and then I'm going to fucking point it at it. I'm going to wink at it, and everyone can taste it and smell it at home. 2.6 million followers. Yeah, let's defend her, Mary. Let's defend her. It's all just her shtick. She gets lonely men to pay the price of two coffees just to stare at a pussy. Uh, and good on her. Good shit, Sarah. Good fucking on you. Thankfully for Sarah, Mary's uh, written rant continues. A popular ex account posted a video of a social media creator, Sarah Kors, working out in a crop top and shorts. They are not shorts, Mary. I am wearing shorts. Those are, I think those are what would you call booty shorts or something less than that, whatever that would be called. Shorts at the moment. They are down to just above my knee. Sarah's not wearing fucking shorts. If you can scratch it. Is that purple in her hair? 
I don't know if that's just a camera or the lighting or if that's actual color. Hmm. Sniff them, they're not shorts. If you can see your pubes in them, they're too short. Wear them around the house, go nuts. Wear them to the gym. But people are gonna look and people are gonna comment. Mary's fucking dead shitness continues. Sure, men often work out shirtless. Wankers work out shirtless. Or wear those concernedly tight bike shorts. Ah. But if a woman is bearing skin, men like to jump on the internet and discuss ways they can police the issue. Fuck right off, Mary. Look, like I said, both men and women need to learn to dress better when they go to the gym. Don't wear tight-ass biker shorts that show off your fucking dick and balls. And women, don't wear shit so small and that covers so little that you're going to get men gawking at you. Make better choices. Both of you. Mary, this is not the same as someone working out shirtless, which I don't think you should do anyway. And ladies going to... Yeah, if you're going to a public gym, wear a fucking shirt. Keep your shirt on. If you're working out at home, then yeah, wear whatever the fuck you want. Unless you're making videos, then, you know, please wear bottoms at least for men. But uh, yeah, keep your clothes on when you go to the gym. It's the respectful and appropriate thing to do. Stare, and gay dudes are going to stare, and other dudes are going to stare. Everyone's going to stare. Because it's not the normal thing to do. It's not. This is the type of physique I actually want to get for myself. Because <laughs> right now I'm fat. I'm like three hundred some pounds. I'm fat, so I'm 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 hoping I can trim down and you know work on. I don't want to be completely ripped, but I want to be lean and have muscle show like this guy. What you do in polite society. This is not the same issue though. If I can see, and I'll say it again, your asshole, you've gone too far. If you wear that at the gym, you deserve to have everyone comment on you and you deserve to have everyone stare. Mm -hmm. You wear that at- All right, see this guy right here. What he's doing is stealing a glance the gym, and then he looks away. To have everyone That's fine. Cause he just stole a glance, which is fine. Now, if he was staring at her like for, you know, a long time I don't know how long you would consider a long time but then yeah then that'd be a creep and comment on you and you deserve to have everyone stare sorry about it the male response was nothing short of alarming truth be told it was a little scary to realize how women are still spoken about in 2024 oh fuck off dear everyone who is female Harden the fuck up. All the classic sexist remarks were rolled out in response to the question. Men joking that her dad must be proud of her. Can you imagine if the dad was proud of her? What would be worse? Him being proud or not proud? That's a good question. Let me know in the comment section. Eh? I want you... Look, okay, here's the thing. A lot of fathers, I believe, are do have a difficult time accepting what they're daughter is doing if what their daughter is doing is what this lady is doing they do have a hard time accepting it because it's their little girl it's their daughter but the other thing is is they ask are you safe are you okay does this make you happy are you making sure you're taking the proper precautions for what you're doing if she's doing all this stuff she's keeping herself safe and she's happy she's making money she's taking care of herself then i think the father would be fine he still would have a difficult time accepting what his little girl is doing, but as long as she's safe, happy, and taking care of herself, then I think the father would be able to accept it. That's the that's the difference between it. No matter what, the father's going to worry, and he's going to have a hard time accepting it, but he's going to accept it. But no matter what, he's always going to worry. You to defend why the dad would be proud in the comment section. Take. Bit of devil's advocate here. Defend why. Let me know. Best dancer gets a merch pack. Mary then goes to say, all arguing that she's desperate for attention. Of course she's desperate for attention. She's selling porn. She's a salesperson for a pussy. Some men took to the comment section to mock women who wore revealing outfits to the gym and then complained about men looking at them. Yeah. Why wouldn't you mock that? It's just the ancient argument pushing the idea that what a woman wears should change how she's treated. And yes, this is still something people believe. If a female wears her underpants somewhere that is not around the house, then you're going to treat them differently to someone who is wearing normal things. It's the same as if a man would do it. If a dude walked up to you, oh 
And he's wearing a G string. A big, dirty G banger riding far God up. God damn it, Isaac. And you work at the local coffee shop and he <laughs> says, mate, can I get a flat white? What are you going to do? Are you going to stare at his cock or his ass? Probably. Doesn't matter what your gender is or what fucking sexuality you are, you're going to go, why is that bloke's asshole out this morning for everyone to see? And you're going to be upset, you're going to be mad, and you're going to be sad. You're probably going to have PTSD as well. Ladies, put your assholes away or shut the fuck up. Then there was a slew of men claiming that if a woman wore an outfit like that, then she should expect to be leered at. Yeah, exactly. You're going to get gawked at. Well, yeah. Another claimed a woman wearing a crop top and shorts meant that the gyms were becoming pornographic. This response seemed to... To an extent, if they're constantly doing this and if the gyms are letting them do this, then yeah, they're they're leading some to some sort of soft core stuff. You're you're letting it you're letting these OnlyFans girls and you're letting these other women basically advertise their body in a way that they shouldn't be doing at a gym. Because here's the thing, kids also go to gyms. Stretch. It's a bit of a stretch, but we are talking about Sarah Kors, who does porn. I think, I assume, isn't that what OnlyFans is? I assume she's got porn on there. I will not look. One woman said she was just surprised men finding this offensive. No one's finding it offensive. We just think it's fucking ridiculous that you don't want people to look at you, but you wear that. It's fucking ridiculous. But we should not be surprised that Mary has taken this stance. Mary is a very strange human being, and I want to go through some of her other articles that she's written over the past couple of weeks uh, and months. But we must remember this. Mary has no social media presence which I find weird. I still think she may be AI. Just gonna put that out there. Influencer reveals gross thing men still say to women in 2023. An Aussie creator has exposed the baffling comments too many yeah, men you know, are still making about- It's weird that somebody who calls himself a journalist has no social media preference or presence. You'd think if you're a journalist, you're a journalist, you would have a social media presence, you know? Reddit, Twitter, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, any other sort of social media. But if you don't, it's very questionable. At women in 2023, I wonder what was said. Recently had a video go viral on Instagram Reels and I've discovered something that's pissed me off. We all know that's like the worst place to have a video do really, really well because the haters are aggressive and okay. instagram does absolutely nothing to moderate the comments but what are you I gonna be all right is that men and it is always men comment and they're like oh, everyone's lying in these comments and i've worked out that men literally think if they don't find someone attractive no one else does yeah i can't imagine why people are talking shit in the comments can't imagine. Particularly when Mary said that the plus size girl in the video who describes herself as a raging lesbian, by the way, uh, looked, and I quote, she looked great and beautiful. Okay. Okay, Mary, sure. Let's look at some more. A woman reveals the reality of being mid-sized. What the fuck is mid-sized? Like a mid-sized SUV. That's pretty big. Not enough men are buying the women in their lives Christmas presents. Ladies, sound like you... It's because there are some women who are so materialistic they expect a gift that is hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. Why the fuck would we spend that much on a, on a singular Christmas gift for your dumbass? Pick the wrong dickhead. Laura Carmichael reveals that her cellulite has helped her earn six figures. Okay. She wrote about this uh, OnlyFans chick uh, and her apparent natural body. And this is what natural looks like. So I a Okay, I'm just going to say this. A fat body is not natural. It only gets that way because you shovel food down your gullet faster than you burn it. So it's not natural. It's just not. It is very unhealthy. Just like me. I'm very unhealthy. Uh, I hope to lose weight. So, yeah. assume that being fit is unnatural are we starting to see the trend of mary's work it's shit all it does and the only reason she's employed is to get people to click on her articles because they're like this is fucking stupid they want to read it they want to see what absolute garbage is spewing forth and the newspaper that she's employed with gets clicks on their website 
and they sell ad space on that and they make money. That's what they're doing to you, mares. That's what they're doing. Let's cap this video off with famous Gen Z men are having fun with fashion. This is who she's talking about. Yeah, whatever. Shut up, Mary. Mary, you are being played, love. No one cares about what you have to say. It's just for ad revenue. That's it. And you can continue to pretend to be a journalist for as long as you want. And in reality, all you're actually doing is just writing really long Instagram captions. That's what your journalism is. Instagram captions. But what is actually quite terrifying is what Mary writes probably does represent the views of a lot of people. And that should scare all of us. We are a world awash with idiots. And there's nothing we can do but laugh at them, I guess. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know in the comments section your thoughts on this video and also put your asshole away at the gym. Be a good motherfucker. Peace in the Middle East. It extincts to law. Blah, blah, blah. Ladies All right. That was Isaac Butterfield's Gym Girl. Stop calling men out. <sighs> and you know what? I got to agree with him on this. Ladies, if you don't want to be consistently gawked at, don't wear such revealing clothing. Don't wear as little as possible. Now, like I said, if you don't want to be gawked at, wear something like the lady with the colorful spandex or the other lady that had the black bottoms and I think beige top it was. I can't remember the color exactly. But wear something that's not so revealing. And though to those ladies who are wearing something very revealing, I know you know what you're doing. You know exactly what you're doing. You're doing it because you want attention. And you also, those who aren't advertising their fucking OnlyFans site, who are doing it on TikTok, um, complaining at those who stare at them or who glance at them, you're doing it because you want attention and because you just want to destroy men's lives because you find it hilarious. Those ladies need to fuck off. So, anyways... I hope you all enjoyed the video. I would love to hear what you think in the comments below. If there are any other videos you'd like to see me react to, please make sure to comment them down below or over on my Discord page. I do have a channel over on Twitch that I stream to Fridays through Sundays. I hope you would give me a follow over there, and I will hope to see you all over there. Links to everything will be in the description below. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.